and cooking with Tim. I'm gonna be cooking all kinds of interesting things. I'm gonna get started today with uh, special roast chickens and garlic buttered potatoes. I hope you enjoy. Let's have some fun. And before anyone starts cooking, give yourself a bit of fuel, right? You need to be able to, you need to be able to have energy to cook. Cheers. Okay, two good size bear bird chickens, uh, about one and a half kilos each. Let's get these open here. All right, we're just going to line the baking tray with a bit of baking paper and just pop your chickens on there for the moment. All right, now we prep up. Matty, can you get me some rosemary, mate? Hello. Hello, mate. Where's my rosemary? Some of that nice fresh rosemary. It's good stuff, bud. Obviously, rosemary, if you can get it from the garden, perfect. Put a bit of cayenne pepper here, which I'll use some normal pepper, black pepper, salt, garlic, butter. Um, very simple and straightforward. I've got some potatoes which I've just put onto the oven now. Uh, we like to boil those potatoes first. You definitely want to boil your potatoes first for a good 10, 15 minutes doesn't really matter, just prick them with a fork. If they go through easily, they're good to go in the oven and roast afterwards. Right, another baking tray, a little bit more baking paper. This is where we're gonna put our potatoes. All right, first thing we do here is I like to cut the butter into pieces about so. One, two, three, four, four pieces. I like to use a lot of butter because it's a special dish, roast chicken, and fat's good for you, don't forget about that. Okay, now what we do with the butter next, is we just make a little opening there under the skin, in there. Get one of your pieces, slide it in. Get that butter in there, press it down. Get another one, over on in the other side, so just lift it off a little bit if you need to. That butter's gonna melt and it's gonna keep the breast really tender because often if you go to the chicken shop or to the supermarket and get your roast chickens, the breasts are often quite tough. I don't like that. So the butter element definitely helps keep that chicken nice and soft. It just falls apart. All right, the next rosemary. Most important thing, I'll try and get a bit underneath. A little bit underneath for now. All right. And then we get the important stuff. It's obviously very simple. We're going to just going to load that up with salt, cover the whole thing in salt, or not too much, but just season it nicely. Because right. salt does cook off. Never be sure with your salt if it's going to cook off in the oven. Afterwards, get a good amount of salt on it. It really works well with the butter. I'm going to put a fraction cayenne pepper on here as well. So don't mind an extra heat. Gives it a nice colour too. A bit of black pepper. Black pepper as well. And then we just a little bit more oil. A little bit more rosemary. Just pass that around a little bit. Put some in. We're not going to use some, any stuffing today. We're just going to do basic chicken and potatoes. And then you're going to lead some of that rosemary for your potatoes as well. So that's pretty much as simple as it is to, to get those chickens ready for cooking. Um, have your oven set to about 170 degrees. It works really well. Get all the water out. Okay, they'll be nice and soft now. If you look at this, they break apart. You don't want them to break apart. You want to try and keep them intact. Leave the skin on. See, there was one that's broken. But you get the idea, it doesn't matter too much. Get them all onto the tray. All right, now the chickens are all done. The potatoes, they're boiled. They're back in the tray. Olive oil, yeah. Look, if, if, if you don't like your fats and oils, um, it's probably a good idea to watch another channel because I love the stuff keeps me very fit and healthy as well. We've had six 
another six pack, it's a 12 pack. But hey, I eat well. Of course, more butter. You need your butter for your potatoes. Just a bit for now, all right? Just a bit, yeah? Get that in, break it up, spread it around. Just throw it in, all right? Your garlic, you can break them if you like. You can break up your garlics. Just be pretty rough with it all. Just crush it, rip the skin off. Get a like good bit, end bit off. Skin. Get it all around on like this. It's absolutely to be amazing once this is cooked. So we've got butter, garlic, we're going to put, we've got our oil on there, we're going to salt them, absolutely we must salt them, All right, get some salt on there, you can see I'm not shy with the salt, I'm not shy with the oil, I'm not shy with the butter, I'm not shy with anything, why not put a little bit Cayenne pepper there, lovely. Bit of pepper as well. We're gonna have loads of flavour and then let that oregano in. Okay, and then once that's done, you just move around a bit, get them all mixed up, get them all buttered and get that salt all over them. The butter will move around the pan. There's your potatoes ready to go in the oven. Come over here, you your chickens here. The butter there, just make sure that that's, it's not gonna move around the breast anyway. We're ready to go. Okay, all right, oven time. Chickens in there. Let them cook for a good hour and a half, 170 degrees. And while the chicken and the potatoes are cooking in there, um, you've got to keep your wife happy as well and you've got to make sure that she's got some broccoli and some carrots, your wife, your partner, whoever it is. All right, so you just cut your, your heads off, break them up a little bit there, get them all ready, get rid of that. Your carrots, don't cut them too small, but smallish. That's good, 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 good. Get rid of that end piece there. Get that end off, that end off, get rid of it. And then just chop them up. We're just gonna boil these off. Throw them in there. And they sit in for about eight minutes. Okay, so the chickens are coming along really nicely. You can see they're just almost ready. They're not far away. Just before they are ready, what I like to do is just come over here and what we're gonna do is add a little bit of lemon and oil, right? Just to really bring out the flavor before they're ready. We'll put them back in again. So just give that a good squeeze over the top. All right. Get your lemon all over there. Lovely. It just gives it that a little bit of extra flavour and just a little bit extra oil just to really bring up some colour. All right, and then we'll pop them back in for probably another 10 minutes and they'll be ready. Just while we're finishing off those potatoes, chicken's nearly ready. We've got our broccoli and carrots all boiled up nicely here. Oh, lovely, we're just gonna drag them over. Throw them into a bowl. And I like to keep the, the skin on the carrot too. I don't peel them or anything like that. Keep it real simple. And guys, it's just broccoli and carrot, but with a good squeeze of lemon, lemon all over them. Let that lemon infuse right through and it will be absolutely magnificent. Make that lemon up. 
This is from my lemon tray out the back. There's massive lemons out there and, and your oil. And I'll just mix that around a bit. Now that everything else is ready, our chickens are ready, our potatoes are ready. Um, come in and have a look at this. Absolutely stunning. Superb. You've got that colour all over the skin there. Lovely. And then the potatoes just, just come up crispy and brown. Beautiful, ready to eat. Now, what we do here with the chickens, it's a good idea to let any kind of meat that you cook, it's a good idea to always let it rest. So I'll get some aluminium foil. I'll, uh, I'll cover them for about 10 to 15 minutes. A little bit of foil. And that's gonna bring out more juices. And then we'll do a quick gravy with it as well. So that'll keep that going. Put the potatoes warm as well. Bit of foil over the top there. We're almost ready. Gravy, butter, bit of butter in there. Let that melt down a little. All right. And then your juices that are left from the chicken, try and get the oil out, pour it in gently. Stir it. All right. So it's really the juices, the butter. A little bit of flour. And this will just be beautiful silky gravy once it's ready. So you just gently let that stir it in. Add a bit more juice as you need as the butter starts to melt from the pan. Just a little bit more. Mix it all in. Stir it up. Just stir that gently. Let it let it. Let it all dissolve, come together nicely. You can see you've got a beautiful yellow, silky gravy for the chicken. And then the last bit. All that flour's dissolved now. Beautiful silky gravy. That'll be ready shortly. Okay, and then they just pour the gravy into your gravy boat. Lovely and ready to serve. Uh, the chicken with rosemary and the garlic butter potatoes. A um, few little extras there, the broccoli, the carrots and the gravy. Um, it was awesome doing it. And I've got to say that the chicken was just incredible. Melts in your mouth. What I've got here is the pan with the, you never let anything go to waste. You got here all the leftover chicken, all the carcass, all the bones and all that sort of stuff. Don't throw that out. Um, this goes into a pot I cover this up, put it in the fridge tonight, and then I'll make a soup. If you've had too many wines or something like that the night before, you get this out the next day and it will heal you like you wouldn't believe. So thanks again for watching. Hit the subscribe button, give me a like, uh, and uh, I'll see you soon.